Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of Xavier's Nursery as well as show you how I organized it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rachel. We welcomed our first son, Xavier, into the world about three months ago. He is absolutely incredible and we are just so in love with him. He's just, ugh, I can't even stand it. He's so sweet. So. Um, the nursery was definitely my favorite room in the house to decorate ever. It killed me not to know with, whether he was a boy or a girl for the first 13 weeks because I knew that whatever he was would depict how I was going to decorate. So I love decorating as it is, so I was super excited to have this project. I did um, spend a lot of time trying to figure things out as far as like the setup and the layout of the room. I failed many times and had to start over, which was very time consuming. So I want to share how I finally figured it out so that hopefully I can help save other people that time so that they can use it to focus on other things. So I'll first show you as far as like the bedroom furniture and like the decor of the room, where I found it, my thought process, and then I'll kind of give a layout and go into how it's organized. So. The dogs are in here with me. They absolutely love this room. Typically, if I or the baby are in here, they are right behind us. So it's like their second bedroom too. <laughs> so to get started, we have, well, of course, Mr. Beefy just scratching and Lexi laying there, always in here. So this is just one of the spare bedrooms of the house. It's right next to our master bathroom and bedroom and it's just perfect. It's super close to us. He's not sleeping in here yet. He is 12 weeks old, uh, but we're probably going to keep him in our room for another three months or so um, just to be on the safe side. So the room is, it's so hard to tell. It's hard to get a good visual of it. But anyways, the room, the floor was done before um, like when it was just a spare bedroom. It's a super soft, it's a pewter maple, so it's a really pretty gray finish but it is a soft wood. So I wanted an area rug that covered most of the room because I didn't, <laughs> Beefy, you're a mess. I didn't want the floor to get scratched from a toddler and then also this heavy furniture that we have. So this rug, it's so, the lighting is so bad in here. This rug I actually found on Overstock and it's a pretty large, I mean, it literally covers almost the whole room. And I love it because it brings in a couple different colors. It brings in a couple different blues. There's a couple different creams and taupes so that it really brings in all the different colors of the furniture and the room. I knew that I wanted to go with a lighter color furniture because this room only has one window. It's this one, which there's a little crease in the curtains, but um, this window is the only one and it, not a lot of light comes in through here. So I wanted to make sure I didn't darken the room anymore. I always typically have an accent wall in the house in all of our rooms. I typically try to do a metallic wall, but I was unable to get um, this color in metallic in this country, so <laughs> it was kind of a process, but I'm absolutely in love with the blue. The camera is just not even picking up how pretty these colors are, but it's just this really, it's just, I don't know. It's so hard to see, but anyways, it's such a pretty blue. Um, so the furniture, I went back and forth between a couple different ones and I was going for either like a taupe color like this or um, like an ivory and the more I thought about it, the ivory was just almost too feminine. So I'm really happy with this choice. The closet, it looks like we have a ton of furniture in here, which we kind of do, but this is the only closet that's in here. And it's super small, so I wanted to do things right and really not have to do this over again in a couple of years. I don't know, you know, if we're going to have another baby or not, so I wanted this to be his furniture for a while. So, like all of these pieces he can grow with and he can have for 15 years. So, I spent the money, it got really good quality, they are from Bye Bye Baby. Um, all of the things that I talk about today, I will try to find um, links for them and put them in the description below because I love all of it. Um, his name I found on an Etsy shop, which I love. There's so many like fun things for girls and it's really hard to find cute boy things, but I thought that this was perfect. 
I didn't really want his nursery to be like really um like childish as odd as it sounds like I know my house is going to be just overtaken with toys like sooner than later so I didn't want to like rush that I want to keep <laughs> a little bit of my house for a little bit of time so um what else okay so the curtains I got from and it's so hard to tell they're so pretty they are a velvet curtain and they're this really deep like royal blue um, I got them from West Elm and we have these curtains in two other rooms in our house they're not blackout but no light comes in I absolutely love them I think that they're just super elegant and ugh, I just they're just luscious I love them so I and then I got the same ones over here there is a window in there but the window just looks into our hallway our house is very odd and that's just part of it <laughs> so the um Glider and ottoman. I absolutely love I beefy you got to get out of the way, buddy So the glider and ottoman are also from bye bye baby. I don't remember the brand um, But it's super comfortable. It actually has a um, Recliner on it as well. So if you're up for a while with the baby while you're feeding at night It's just super super comfortable. It glides super easy the little pillow is from West Elm as well to match the curtains and that throw blanket is from West Elm as well. So starting with the closet, I guess, as far as organization goes, it was really hard, again, because this closet is really small. So I don't know, it was really, oh, it was really hard to figure out what I was gonna put in here. We did have a diaper party and we, <laughs> with all of Eric's friends through a forum, we got over 3,000 diapers. It was absolutely insane. So this, all of the size ones are gone now. Um, and these are just what's left. And there was actually some up top. So I just, most of this was um, diapers as well as pre-made formula. All of these clothes are larger clothes that he's not even close to fitting into yet. I did buy all little baby hangers so they were appropriate for the size and then I got these little tabs too to sort the sizes by size up here I just have a whole bunch of like random stuff that I either didn't know like keepsake boxes in this little bag I have a whole bunch of like extra lotions and stuff that I don't really need yet sanitizing wipes um, memory things just things I didn't really know what to do with or have a place for so the closet this will be evolving as he gets older as well. I do have um, a little mirror and a sign that says such a big miracle and such a little boy. That was a gift um, at his shower, which is couldn't be more true. Um, I do have it, well, in his crib, we don't have his um, camera installed yet because he is not sleeping in here yet. This is the one that we have. Um, and we're just going to put it on the sidewall to go over. Um, we, you know, it's still in the box. We haven't touched it yet. So that will go up soon enough. The tall dresser, Beefy, come on, bummies. The tall dresser is where I have all of his clothes. And I, <laughs> this dog is such a disaster. Um, I have all of his clothes in here that he's currently wearing. So in, are you for real? You are such a... An attention whore. It's crazy. Oh my god, you're a mess. <laughs> Hold on, your brother's crying. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Happiest dog in the world. <laughs> Anyways, so in this dresser I have all of his clothes. I have up here all of his hats because it's just a smaller drawer. This is the hat he came home in with his little name on it. Um, and then a whole bunch of other ones underneath. I have a couple copper pearl and then the rest are three to six month clothes that I didn't have room in the bottom. It, well, in the bottom drawer. In this drawer, I have all of his socks and they're arranged by size. There's this like little divider I got in um, from Target. And we have newborn socks and they go by size across. Like you can see these ones are much bigger. It's amazing how many socks I have, and I don't, I haven't actually lost any yet, which is pretty surprising. Um, but I have all socks in one drawer. He is currently 12 weeks, and this drawer originally I had all of his newborn stuff in. Um, 
he stayed in newborn clothes until he was 10 weeks old. So he really, I don't know, he was much smaller than I thought he would be. I thought we'd wind up going through clothes like crazy. I did, I don't know if you can see, oh, there's such a shadow. I labeled everything with my label maker for Eric because he is going to be on paternity leave for 10 weeks when I go back to work. And I don't want him to have to call me and say, where is this? Everything's easily laid out. I have all of his, and I got these little OXO dividers too. These are all short sleeve, I still only have one nail painted. These are all short sleeve onesies. Um, these ones in the back are long sleeve onesies. And then these in the front are um, short sleeve as well. And I put a little divider so he knows. And then over here, I have all of his pants. These are zero to three month. And then in the back are three month. And again, the sizing doesn't really matter. Like whatever fits, fits like, these, actually, these two pants are newborn and they still fit him. So those I kept in there. And then in the second drawer I have, and I have an excessive amount of clothes for him because of my sister-in-law. She gave me all of her son's clothes. So I was very fortunate. Um, it meant the world to me, but he has like an insane amount of clothes for that reason. Um, on this side, I have short sleeve outfits and then like onesie outfits. These are all um, long sleeve outfits and then long sleeve like, I, well these are like one sleeve, let's try that again, long sleeve onesie outfits, not like sleepers. And then these are shirt and pant long sleeves. And then these are just like sets. So like a jacket, pants, and onesie so that they're just kind of all together. And then, oh, the most ridiculous thing, I had to buy him little Ugg booties. It is October. Well, it's actually going to be November pretty soon. So he needs something a little bit. Obviously, he's not going to be wearing shoes yet. So that's what he wears. And then in this drawer, this is the crazy drawer. It's all like I literally can't jam anything else in here. These are all sleepers. I have zero to three. Yeah, zero to three, three months. And then those. Okay, so zero to three, three months. And then three to six. So what I plan on doing is just rotating the drawers up as he grows out of them. And the rest of the clothes I have, um, I have, well, I don't have as much six months. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that. This is probably, yeah, this is all six month clothes. So again, I did, and as I get them, I either put them in the drawer or I've been putting them in the closet, but I wash them right away, fold them right away. This way they're just done. And it's not a project that I'm gonna have to do down the road. Hi, Bubbies. You're such a good boy. So up here, I just have a couple decor items. This elephant was from a good friend of ours. It actually has this little mat um, that he lays in, like this little fur thing. I put him on for his monthly photos. It's a little shrubbery. In this basket, I have um, disposable nipples for his pre-made bottles. I can't breastfeed due to having breast cancer, so... He's strictly formula fed, so the pre-mades that I have, um, these I just keep here so that I have a um, little bulldog bank. And then this seems like really silly. It's a painted rock. It's from my four-year-old niece who um, painted it for Xavier. And he, she put blue on it, of course, because it's a boy or he's a boy. And then orange is on there for Uncle Eric because that's his favorite color. So she's super sweet. In this little corner, I just have like his changing tables right here. So I put his laundry basket right next to it. Those two bins are not in here all the time. I have them in here now because he's again, just growing out of his newborn clothes. So they're all washed, folded and put in the bottom tote. That middle tote is all zero to three that I've been putting on him that he's not fitting into. So I don't know if I'm going to put them like if they look like a newborn size, I don't know if I'm going to put them in with the newborn clothes or just leave them in their own size category. I don't know. The whole sizing thing just throws me off so much. And then the, the laundry basket's just there because it's easy and that's where I change them. So on top, I have the changing table is um, a hatch baby changing table. And I like that for a couple different reasons. One, I it was like $40 more than most regular changing tables. I did want the dresser to look like a dresser, not like an actual changing table when he grows out of it. But 
he's a boy, number one. He's going to pee all over the place, which he did. The Like, he peed on me twice the first day I brought him home. And he's done it a couple times since. So this is just like a um, silicone rubber material. So it cleans super easy. Um, but it also has a scale in there as well. So I weigh him every Saturday and I keep track of it, which is just peace of mind for me. But I know, especially for mommies who are breastfeeding, I know it's super important to track their weight. So I would spend the extra $40, whatever it was, and just, I absolutely love it. And then the app, um, it has an app and then it has like, you can track his feedings, his diapers, his sleep, his weight. You can put in like his measurements. I absolutely love it. I have a couple copper pearl burp cloths here, just on top because I have no room for them anywhere else. Just a little basket of toys in case I need to keep them occupied. Watch out, Lou. Watch out, Priyaka. I have some baby organic or baby Gannix, um sanitizing spray or hand sanitizer, whatever. <laughs> if we have to rechange them, this OXO tote has his wipes in there, and then like this little caddy. I have all of his diapers in one side. This front pocket has some wipes, like the Aveeno face wipes, the Dr. Brown's um, pacifier and bottle wipes, and then these are just like little samples that I got of like body wash, and like I keep all the samples in front. I do have this little pee thing in case he does pee, which I don't ever really use this, but it's cute. It's got like a little hole you can like, it's a wee block. You can put his thing in there so he doesn't pee all over the place. And then back here, I have just all of his lotions and whatever, little butt paste thing. The Noodle and Boo is by far my favorite um, shampoo and body wash and then lotion for him. Behind here, I have a, um, just a like general cleaner, like a surface cleaner. This did come from, it's so hard to see. Um, it did come in one of my bump boxes, so I just leave it back here with his Ubi diaper bags because the Ubi's right there. I do keep a couple of bags in the bottom of that as well, um, but I leave the bags there. This way, Eric can find them just fine. These two, I swear, they're constantly in here, and I'm always tripping over toys. Right, Lou? You pretty girl. And then there's that. Beefy, you are a mess. Come on, get up. Come on, get up, you crazy dog. Okay, so in this drawer, I have a lot of medical supplies. I have his brushes in the back, I have Q-tips, pacifiers that he's never used. Those are all teething toys that are ready to go and clean. Whole bunch of Vaseline the hospital sent me home with. Um, older pacifiers, his nail clippers and emery boards. And then up here, this was in one of my bump boxes as well. It's like a way to give um, medicine, which I haven't had to use yet. I'm sure as he gets older, I'll probably have to, but I guess it sings when you use it. Um, I have like the little ball aspirator, the nose Frida, which I haven't used. This little booger tool I use every single day. I actually bought an extra one for his diaper bag as well. Um, I will do a newborn essentials video and show like all of my favorite things because there's quite a few of them that like I can't rave enough about. And then I have his grape water in um, dimethicone drops in there also. So everything's just like in one spot. I have some Tylenol and then some saline drops as well as we get into the winter months. And then I also have, the doctor gave me this, like how much he's supposed to get at what weight as far as medicine goes, as, well, Tylenol at least. Motrin's on there too, I think, but he can't have that yet. So that I keep back there. The thermometer is back here. Um, and it's just like nice. It's all in one spot. Then down here, I have all of his hooded towels for baths. And then all of his washcloths as well. I always take two washcloths in the bath with me. I take one to wash his body. I take that back. I take three. I take one to cover his pee pee with so that he doesn't pee all over the place and it keeps his belly warm. And then one to wash his face and then one to wash his body. I usually wash his face twice, like one in the beginning and then one at the end. I have this super like fun ducky like hooded towel it's just too big to go in there and then I have extra sheets and then an extra mattress protector I am not a good sheet folder so that is what it is and so is this oh my god you are such a mess and then up in this top shelf I have why are you in my way come on bubbies you gotta get up 
And then in this drawer, I have all of his muslin swaddles. I have all of his copper pearl bibs in here. Um, we go through them like crazy because he does spit up quite a bit. Um, and while he starts teething, I know it's just going to get worse. And then all of his burp cloths over here with more of those OXO dividers. In here, I have his swaddles on this side or sleep sacks. And then I have other blankets in here. I have a stroller blanket, like this thicker blanket, and then this is the swaddle we brought him home in, um, which we just use as a blanket sometimes if we take a walk. And then in the bottom, I just have extra wipes and diapers. I am trying to figure out, because we did have the diaper party, I do have a ton of different brands of wipes and stuff, and I'm still trying to figure out what I like, like better than others. So, I don't know, it, there's so many of them and some work much, much better than others, but I'll figure that out when I need to. I keep his car seat right here just because it's right by the door. And his little copper pearl 5-in-1 seat cover I leave in there as well after it's washed. The welcome to my crib sign, I love. It does go up higher in the door, but it keeps falling off. I need more sticky tack. And then in this little, um, I don't know what you would call this, like just a little shelf, I guess. I got this at Target last minute. Because after his baby shower, I realized I had nowhere to put toys, stuffed animals, and books. We asked for books instead of cards to build like his own little library, and that's what all of those are from. So I love that we did that because it has, it's just a huge collection already. And they're all like people's favorite books that they grew up with or they had a special attachment to. They all wrote a little message inside, and then, you know, as we read them to him, you know, we'll be able to remember, just remember all of those exciting times. In the bottom, in this one, actually, I don't know if I have, these are actually just a couple of newborn diapers that I'm actually going to cut up and put in my plants. Um, I read somewhere to do that for like extra moisture in there. These are all of his toys. And then in this one, I have all of his stuffed animals. And then what else? I have his sign from when he was born, I'm going to keep that in here until we change it to, I don't know, anything else. And then one of his, well, our favorite sonogram pictures, he looks so much like he does now in this picture. It's so crazy. And that frame was from one of our bump boxes as well. And then this picture is actually something I got on Etsy. So I'll link it down below. I had it custom framed with museum glass and like all these extras. I bought everything for it, but it was Eric's Father's Day gift for his first father. Let's try that again. For his first Father's Day, Xavier was not even born yet. Um, but I put on there, um, I don't know if you can see it, the night the stars aligned and two became three. That is the constellation over our house um, the night that he was conceived. So he loves astronomy, so I thought that that would be a perfect gift, but also it works perfect in here for a little bit of decor as well. In this little area here, I keep his um, diaper bag on top of this little basket. The basket I just got at Home Goods, and I keep all of his blankets in there. So he has quite a few of them. It's like everyone's favorite thing to buy a baby, and I don't disagree because they're just wonderful and soft. Oh, one of my favorite things, his nest. Oh, no, 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 I take that back. It's the Hatch Baby Rest. It's a sound machine, night light. I only have it on white right now. Um, I'll definitely go over this in my newborn essentials video. Where's the little button? Um, but I love this thing. We use it every single, um, like nighttime feeding and diaper change. It's wonderful. And we sleep with white noise. So I assume he will as well. Also, this um, is a dehumidifier or, no, it's a humidifier. It's a 30 hour cool mist. We haven't used it yet because he is in here. I think once um, the temperatures continue to drop, we will wind up putting it in our bedroom because he'll still be in there with us. And then this lamp was handmade by a very good friend of the family. She's like family to us, my mom. It's like my mom's friend from high school. She makes everyone who has a baby, she makes a lamp that matches her room or their room. And it couldn't be more perfect. In this little nightstand, I wasn't sure what to put in here. So just kind of random stuff. I do like this because it does have like a little um, table that pops out. I haven't used it for anything, but it's there. And then in this top drawer, I have a whole bunch of random stuff. I have shoes that he doesn't wear yet. 
This goes over the car seat handle, which we don't use because it's actually not very comfortable. Bows for his monthly pictures. And that's just kind of it. It's just like a whole bunch of random, I don't know what to do with. And then here I have instruction manuals, just, it's got like a weird thing. Oh, like extensions for the Mamaru, like anything that has to do with like any furniture or, you know, item that we bought for him. I think that's it. This went a little faster than I thought. So I hope that helped everyone as far as how I have everything set up. Everything flows really nicely. Um, again, essentially what I did from this bird's eye view, I sat in the recliner like countless times and just sat here and looked thinking, okay, what am I going to do? You know, when I'm changing him, what am I going to need really accessible? You know, and I literally took post-its and put them on the drawers and then would write whatever was going in there. And I can visually just sit here and think, okay, that makes sense. That one doesn't. And then moving a post-it is so much easier than just moving literally like a whole dresser full of stuff. So I definitely recommend doing that. It will save you so much time, but really just sit down and think of how you want the flow of the room to be. Um, this works perfect right now. I can't imagine that we'll be changing it. As he grows out of things, I'm sure I will be changing things around. So maybe I'll do a video, you know, when that happens, just, you know, even maybe when he's a year old, because things will be much different then. But for right now, it works really well. And I'm glad that I took the time to really sit down and think it through. So I hope you guys all love this video. I know the dogs loved being a part of it as always. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can go along on all these crazy adventures with us. I, of course, will have many more videos of my baby Xavier um, and what we're doing and what we're up to, but also um, my continued cancer journey as well as painting, a whole lot of exciting things coming out. So join me along for the ride, and until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.